are now watching Dragon Ball Fighters. Vegito's interesting. Uh, this character takes aspects of Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. This character takes aspects of, uh, I would say, close to adult Gohan and maybe a little bit of Bardock. I would say he is a better and more effective character than uh, Blue Vegeta, but not nearly as good as Bardock and uh, adult Gohan, but he does have some similarities. Uh, one of the biggest things about him is that he has got a huge, huge glaring weakness. If you press jab, you get this. Uh, he's got a very slow, multi-hitting jab. So you can't just, like, fish jab and try to go for stuff. If you just keep pressing this button, he's just gonna keep doing Chun-Li lightning legs in a certain direction, and it's just gonna take forever. The interesting thing is, at the end of this, uh, this is actually a grab. I think this is a physical grab, so if we set the enemy to guard all on his light auto combo... Yeah. And, uh, that's cool. That's cool. It's similar to, uh, Android 16, I believe. But for the most part, it's- it's a challenging aspect that he doesn't have a crouching light attack. This is his crouching light attack. But there is something that makes up for that. So there's an interesting part to Vegito. He can do somewhat of a reverse beat similar to adult Gohan when you get to level 7, you know, level 7 power-up. When you do his auto combo, you get some cool stuff. Chucks their head into the ground. Smacks him back down. When you do medium auto combo, you get some cool stuff. But not not that effective. Looks kind of neat. The, the light one you'll be using a lot more. Because with this character, you can go from a medium attack to his down light attack. And that's known as reverse beat to change the directions of your attack. So I can even go medium, down light, medium. Or, I'm sorry, crouching medium after. Because I already used the attack, I can't use it again. His crouching medium goes pretty far. Uh, his standing medium also goes kind of far, too. And his stand heavies also have okay range. He's got a very good down heavy as well. But, interestingly enough, you can set up for some pretty crazy combo strings, kind of like... Yeah, you get some weird, weird looking stuff. So you can kind of go from light to medium, back to light, back to medium, which is what this is. So it's kind of, it's kind of cool. In the air, he's also got down heavy, so he does have a relaunch in the air. But, it's very similar to Piccolo. The other thing that is a huge detriment of Vegito, outside of having that really, really crappy, uh... Really crappy light attack, is that... When you're up in the air, and you press heavy, it doesn't do a hard knockdown. So similar to Piccolo, like, they, they push the enemy in a horizontal direction instead of down. So that's kind of... It, it, it's kind of hard with this character to get hard knockdowns in general. There are some, but they're kind of inconvenient, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But you can get some kind of neat stuff in the corner, uh, similar to uh, Piccolo. So you can get two heavy attacks in the corner, which can lead to some pretty, pretty crazy damage. So the good thing about Vegito, he's got high damage. Uh, getting to that damage is not that bad either. It's just that he he lacks this, and he lacks a, uh, a a decent way to reliably get your ass back all the way down to the ground. He's got some decent range on his on his mids, and as we can tell from the damage he gets, it's not bad. Uh, damage is pretty good. That is one of his knockdowns, but ha not having a reliable heavy attack that knocks down in the air is, is tough. Like, you have to get uh, either to the corner or use something else, and it's a little... A little it's a little weird. So, talking about specials, uh, or key attacks. Uh, standing key attack sets up pretty easily for some kind of neat stuff. Uh, this is meant to hover them in the air for his down key attack. Which is a unique launcher that also that also flips sides that I that I love the way this thing looks. If you I've also noticed in some situations if you mash this thing sometimes you miss like sometimes you actually fly over them. Uh, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> it looks it looks a little weird. So you kind of want to get a very specific timing. Yeah. It takes, it takes some effort. Uh, when you're in the air, he also gets a neutral key in the air. He doesn't have a projectile. He's got the sword. 
and it looks sick. Uh, it also pulls up and launches once again, but unfortunately, it has a huge amount of recovery. Like, he is sitting there for a while, and you can't, like, move or backdash or anything. You can backdash after, but if you cross up the opponent like this, it might be good. Forward key also pushes a projectile so somewhat in front of his hand. Very cool looking. Shit is very, very cool looking. Gino's grabs are good, but uh, comboing into them can be slightly tricky depending on where you're at. Uh, from an air combo, you can always combo into the light one. The light one doesn't actually do a hard knockdown or a sliding knockdown, only the medium one does. Uh, luckily, since you have this knee attack, uh, let's do this. Down heavy into the medium one seems to consistently land, so if you want to set up for something else after, you can. Uh, and I think if you want to always guarantee, the heavy one is fast as hell. And really pushes them across the screen really quick, so that's... That's good. Uh, what I like about this is that if you stick it at the end of a block string, you can do some sort of mock Bardock stuff where you can dash right after and go for attacks. So if, if you're so if you're so inclined, you can get some crazy, crazy BS like that. This is uh, this is his regular projectile. It's also executable in the air, but it does cover a decent amount of the screen. Um, Damn, stuff looks really cool with this character. It looks really cool. Uh, that's my favorite part about him. But, uh, yeah, this move is okay. It's not amazing. If you Tiger Knee it, he gets this crazy jump after, and you can throw two. And, uh, he does have a barrier. And it's not amazing! Let's, let's show it off. So he grabs you and smashes you into the ground. I think he actually rushes forward when he does it. So... If you set up for something like that, where he's, uh, chucking projectiles at you... He'll go forward a little bit, but not a ton. Don't touch me! Ugh. Pretty sick. Pretty damn sick. So his regular kick attacks, uh, are very similar to what Vegeta naturally does. That's the light one, the medium one, carries you a little bit, and also does a wall bounce in the corner, so... If you do... You get a wall bounce situation, and... If you mash auto combo after... You can get a really big combo in the corner, so that's, that's very good. Uh, I don't think the light one does, but the medium one does. This is also a great aerial ender. Oh, wow, so there you go. I mean, if you want to do something kind of cool... That's neat. Uh, the other thing I also like, let me let me mention this, um, if you do a jump in heavy, or like any jump in attack, you can follow it up with sword. Which is kind of awesome. EX legs, um, I think this gives you a wall bounce from anywhere. And wow, it rushes you all the way to the corner. Let's actually, let's actually take a look at this. So let me do a normal combo string with him. Wow, so if you want to do a crazy amount of corner carry with uh, with Vegito, you can do EX legs and it almost seems to go a, a huge distance. Captain Sword! The thing I love about this move is that it covers, like, the whole screen. So if some guy is up at the top of the screen doing something stupid, uh, you can catch him out of it. And I think if you DHC at the right time, you can actually get them to go into everything. So, the character will teleport over and you'll get your proper full combo. Um, it's, it's just good. It doesn't do an insane amount of damage, but you can land it off of the hard knockdown situations. Wait till you hit the ground and do sword. Not bad. Jumping level one, which is the fist to punch. One of my favorite looking supers in the whole game. It's actually very similar to uh, Vegito Blue. And comboing into this thing is very easy as well. Ugh. Ooh, God, it feels good. You can also catch it off of his uh, his throw. Just gotta wait a little bit. 
Dien, and he teleports right over, and you get the throw. And once again, solidifying that Vegito is a utility character, a level three that can be done on the ground or the air. Oh God, I don't have any meter. Maximum power! And he gets huge, giant gorilla hands. That's very important. Very important to look at the size of his hands when he cocks back. They, they remain huge. Giant hands! It's a feature, not a bug. And it does decent damage too, because it's like uh, it's like Final Flash. It's uh, like from Vegeta, you can still do other stuff while that's happening. And that's a nice thing with level 3 since, they're, since some are cinematic. It can be hard to get the damage in before and then go for the cinematic. This one, you just throw it all out there. And then last but not least, uh, Vegito's assist is not amazing. Uh, it's very similar to Android 21's. You can pick up the opponent and get some stuff done, but it's, it's hard. Uh, it, it mostly has a utility in the corner. but it's a little difficult. So for the most part, I think Vegito is going to be a somewhat more complicated character. Like he does have the damage, but losing that resource of having like really easy combo extensions up in the air, much less having not a true hard knockdown. That's the thing that's gonna be toughest for this guy is that you have to spend a uh, significant meter or situational hard knockdowns because he throws you to the opposite direction of the screen. And that is kind of a that kind of sucks. You have to you have to spend a vanishing attack to get them back to the other side of the screen. I don't like that aspect of him at all. Um, I wish he just had a proper hard knockdown. But I think people will make do because his damage is really good, and he's going to have some crazy block strings because of how many how much he can consistently get like attacks off. These characters are fun. I like them both a lot. I really do. This guy's got a lot of combo potential. We just have to figure it out. That is a badass looking combo. 